because this is a rent to own property. Mm -hmm. I, I know that what to say when it's a cash offer, but rent to own, I don't know that the investor can really make as much as they might be trying to, although I'm real willing to split what I'm making so they can make some. Well, also think about what it is that the investors uh, ask questions about what the investor wants out of a deal. He said something about returns, you know, will he, um, is this an opportunity that he can get into a control of property without, without going to a bank? Yeah, it is. So I would ask questions that kind of push him down that road. Okay. And then, and then remember, you don't, you don't basically, when you go for the close, you get him to close you. Okay. So, um, um, Mr. Cash Offer, are you looking for a, a nice return on your investment? Uh, are you looking for um, an owner finance deal where you can uh, control the property without owning it? And, um, you know, if the buyer doesn't buy at the end of the two years, you can make a return that way as well. Would that interest you? Yes, I'm, I'm always interested in cash flow and uh, things of that nature. Uh, do, you have, do, you, do you have any information where I can see, I can check out the property? Yes, I do. Uh, I, I can send that to you. Um, I think the rents in the area are about twenty five hundred. He's only charging, you know, two thousand a month. So there's five hundred right there. And then um, you're, you're doing good. You're drawing. I can see you're drawing a blank. But yeah, go ahead, Mr. Cash Offer. Sure, sure, sure. I just want to help you out a little bit. Here's what I would do. Um, uh, greed. Uh, you got to hit their greed button. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so um, you should know all of the points that, you know, uh, the, the, the positive remarks about your property. So if it's $500 in cash flow, if it's equity on the back end, if it's no bank loans, that's how you should approach the conversation up front. Hey, Mr. Investor, are you ready to make a lot of money today? I have a great deal. You get 500 cash flow, no bank loans, no record. And you come at them like that. Is that something you would be interested in? And, and I have a lot of people interested. It's okay to say no to me, something like that. So lead with yeah. your, lead with the greed, right? Oh, and then, I love that. I, oh, <laughs> somebody, can you put that on my tombstone, Claudia? <laughs> Lead with the greed. I, everybody, I'm writing that down. Me too. Yeah, yeah. I like that one too, Claude. I, I, that was freestyle. Lead with the greed. Greeds and needs, I always used to say, but I'm changing my, my, my mantra now. Lead with the greed. Is greed good in a certain way? Is it a human emotion? Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. We acknowledge it. Why are people, why are all these people, uh, Valerie said, what did you say, Valerie? 70 people clicked on your ad or something. Yeah. No messages left though. But what really bothers me is okay, you've got a, you've got the product, you got a contract, you got a you got the product. Doesn't matter for real estate, whatever you did your marketing. It bothers me out of seventy people, not one person called you up. No, no phone calls, no messages. Okay, we got to fix something there. Right, okay, and I really? asked the uh, dispositions guy. I said, "Are we asking too too high of a down payment?" I mean. What's What's a dispositions guy? Help me out. What is that? Well, he disposes of the deal. Um, you know, um, gets, gets it sold. I never advertised the down payment. And that's what I was thinking. Maybe we should not have put it there. We have it down as 10,000. That could scare people. What's the one thing you want someone to pick up that phone and call you so you have a shot to use all these different psychological triggers and role plays and things that we talk about, right? Yes. But there's, for se something's wrong with the ad because they're not responding the way you want them. I want right. somebody, if I see somebody sees an ad or a video or something for free, I want them, oh, let me call this guy. Let me call this lady right away. Oh. I put down in all caps, owner financing, no banks needed. Um. So the only thing I can think it must be the down payment that's scaring people. Possibly um, will not let, you know, use scarcity. Uh, um, somebody, you know, you got all these investors, all these seminars, all these gurus, and here you have an ad and nobody's picking up the phone to call you or text or text you even. Right. Right. Do you have call capture on that, on that ad? 
or on I just the, put on my the... direct number in there for lack of anything better. So I just put my direct what number. What about driving them to like a record a voicemail so you can have the call capture and collect all the phone numbers? That's an idea. Oh, okay. then, then I have them and I can call them. Okay. I need to yep. figure out how to do that. Okay. I guess what's the point of advertising to get a response? Mm -hmm. Okay, we don't have a chance if we can't speak to somebody directly for a big capital purchase here. Um, on it, who's had, who's running? What's a who's run an ad that's gotten that's had a good response? Has anyone here done an ad that's really uh, got phone ringing, texting, emails, some kind of ad? I'm gonna try to see if I can find one of my old ones here. Yeah, owner finance. Uh, owner finance, uh, ge uh, generous, uh, uh, motivated seller. Okay, must sell today. Urgent. Okay, uh, anything in there that'll get them to pick up the phone right away, and hopefully it's not a telemarketer. I get a lot of the telemarketers call me. They they're calling for somebody else. First thing I say, I had someone call me where we were driving through uh, Death Valley yesterday, and somebody called me up about a property. Hi, I want to ask you a bunch of questions about. I said, "What's your offer?" Well, we can't do it that way. Well, you when you get your boss on the phone and tell him to make do his due diligence. You got the address and make me an offer. Claude, I can share a, um, an ad that I had on Facebook Marketplace if you want. Sure, it, thank it, you. It'll. Ha I'll need permission to share the screen. Thanks, guys, so much. You got I, it. You're I, welcome. I do have to run. Well, we want we want to make we want to see you make some money. I know. Yes. So you can quit that job. <laughs> so I have, if you notice, I put rent to own, no banks needed here. Yeah. And I put the price and the rent, but I didn't put anything about the option amount. I just want them to call me, right? I want to be able to show the property. I want to be able to kind of see and vet the people, see what they can put down. Because somebody might have eight, but 10 would scare them and say they, they disqualify themselves, you know? Yeah, and then also like if, if there's realtors involved, I'll pay a realtor fee or you know referral commission or whatever. So, um, I I just trying to drive people to uh, to call me or text me. So okay. Um, and one of the things I used to do, I haven't done it recently, um, but I used to consistently have like a a little bit of a open house, like a thirty minute window where everyone would show up at the same time. If it was a local property, right? And then it just creates this almost like a bidding war, a feeding frenzy. So I like that ad. What what um what system did you use to post that ad? That, that that's Zillow? Facebook. That's Facebook Marketplace. Okay. Facebook Market. You've had yeah, have you had more success with Facebook Marketplace than Zillow or the other page? Um, Zillow works great. Actually, um, I just didn't post on Zillow because the owner of the property had, I had a non-exclusive non -exclusive option with her. Um, I actually sold the deal, so it worked out. But she already had an advertising on Zillow, so. Okay, good. We're still in open forum here, um, but... Uh, just to answer Valerie, if you're if your marketing is not getting a response, change your marketing, change the media, change the medium, change the language. Um, something needs something is not working if you're not getting phone calls, texts, emails um, on it, especially if you're spending money and you're paying for that advertising too. advertising. I think a lot of people waste a lot of money on advertising. Uh, you know, you just don't want that what you want, that right response. Uh, you want that phone ringing with buyers sellers every everything you know people with no money people with some money till you get that right person randy get take a nap randy we saw that yawn